What up guys, Trizzle here with Triz Tech and Electronics. I'm here today to talk to you about some of the uh, tweaks and applications from Cydia after the 5.1.1 Absinthe 2.0, 2.0.1, or 2.0.2 jailbreak. Uh, these are some of the applications and tweaks that I use the most after jailbreaking my phone from Cydia. Uh, as you can see here, I have a theme where uh, we'll go in here into Winterboard and we'll look at my themes. Uh, we will scroll down here and as you can see it says transparent dock, solid status bar, no docked icon labels, no docked, uh, undocked icon labels, and black navigation bar. So if you look above, my navigation bar is now blacked out, which is kind of cool, it looks a little bit more attractive. Uh, and down here, so is the status bar, it definitely shows the apps, uh, reflections a lot more. Anyway, I also added a tweak in here that adds in another app into my uh, status bar. So instead of having four applications, I now have five in the status bar, which is pretty cool. Uh, so those ones don't move when the thing, when the screens move. And as you can see, they're all clear. There's no labels underneath any of them. I think it makes it a little bit more fresh. You guys obviously know what the apps are when you look at them if you've installed them in the first place. Uh, then also I have a notification theme in here, uh, which is an Apple one. This one is under uh, Notification Center Themes. Uh, this one is the Apple Skull with the Flame. Uh, to go along that with that, I downloaded the Apple Skull Dialer theme as well, which I think looks a lot better than the stock dialer. Um, along with that, I have also installed this Cubs theme for my SMS. For my text messages, as you can see, it's a Cubs theme. I also downloaded a Broncos theme. As you guys know, I am a diehard Broncos fan. I'm also a diehard Cubs fan in baseball. I do not have the Broncos theme going right now because it is not football season. It's baseball season. So the Cubs theme will stay up until football season starts sometime in September. Also, this looks like your stock messaging app, but it is not. It is called Byte SMS, and it is a lot better than the stock messaging app. Uh, it can add animations and pictures and all kinds of stuff like your contacts pictures, all sorts of stuff that the standard app doesn't much, much better uh, text messaging app, as well as if you're inside your notification center, you can, we'll zoom in here if, if it'll let us a little bit, down here in the corner you can't see that too well, yeah, you click on that, it will bring up a thing so you can quick text somebody with that, uh, right now it has my girlfriend's name in there. Uh, as well, the other thing that's kind of cool if you want to, if you hold up on the volume rocker and then you tap on the thing, it will bring up by SMS as well. Uh, so you can send a quick text message if you pull it straight out of your pocket instead of having to open up the messaging app. Another application that I really, really enjoy, as I said before, as you guys know, I do a lot of web page development, design, as well as moderating the channel. Uh, so a lot of times I have to use the internet when I'm away from my house. I tend to go and use a change of scenery. So I do use my iPhone as a mobile hotspot uh, for those reasons. And for the longest time, you know, I've been spending 30 bucks a month to pay for mobile hotspot. Well, now that my phone is jailbroken on the iOS 5.1.1 jailbreak from Absinthe, I now have a program called MyY, which you can obviously see here. Uh, MyY is an application that you can buy. It's called MyY5, and it is an application that you can get in the City App Store for $20, and it's a one-time $20 fee. Uh, when you pay for it, you can now use your mobile hotspot. Uh, for that one-time $20 fee, and it will work to connect to any kind of Wi-Fi compatible device. Phones, iPods, iPads, laptops, desktops, whatever. It can connect to any of those through uh, Wi-Fi connectivity in a mobile hotspot. It's actually a really cool application. It's going to save me a lot of money in the long run. And basically, those are the biggest ones that I use between tweaks and applications. I have a whole bunch more, but I just wanted to give you guys a kind of brief overview and all of these apps run through a thing called Winterboard that you will want to download off of the City App Store. Uh, one of the first things that you do if you do jailbreak your phone, if you have jailbroken your phone and you are not quite sure how to do it, that is what I would do right out of the box is go into Cydia, as you can see above, it's into Cydia and then I would search uh, winter board right off the back or you can hit click in the changes and click on all these packages and it will come up with you can scroll down and it will find 
a winner board, which is actually the you know one of the biggest downloaded apps from Cydia, obviously because it is uh, what all these themes have to run through. Uh, it also has uh, summer board as a part of it, and you know that the spring board is what everything downloads into. Uh, so, but those are the basic apps. I also have one that I really enjoy too, which is a an app slash tweak, and that one is called Fake Carrier. Uh, and you download that one out of the City of Store as well, and it can turn where you say Verizon or AT and T or Sprint or whatever your carrier is, and you can make up uh, your own saying. Mine says Trizzle, which obviously you guys know. Uh, that's because this is Trizzle. Uh, I am Trizzle five five eight six from Triz Tech and Electronics, so that's why I have the Trizzle tag. Uh, other than that, though, those are the basic ones that I use the most. So I really do hope that this that you have enjoyed this and that you've liked some of these. Uh, I also have a Nike symbol one that goes when the phone is charging. So when it is plugged into the charger, uh, instead of having it a little battery emblem with the green stuff filling it up. I now have a Nike symbol with the white filling it up, so as you can see, it's about 50% full. It's actually 39% full, uh, and it is the Nike symbol, and as you can see, it has a reflection of itself on the bottom. It's actually really cool. Uh, it looks a lot more attractive if you have you charge your phone overnight or whatever like I do uh, next to your bed when you hit the thing to check the time or whatever in the middle of the night. It definitely looks a lot better looking at this Nike symbol than it did at that little green battery. Uh, but those are the basic tweaks and applications that I use the most after jailbreaking my phone on Cydia. I definitely like how much more unique you can make your phone. And now they don't all look like a dime a dozen anymore. You can definitely make it to fit your personality. I really do enjoy that. If you guys have any more questions about applications or tweaks from Cydia, then please don't hesitate to either leave a comment in the comment field below, hit me up on Twitter, Google+, email me, whatever. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this video and you like to see the tweaks and stuff that I do have going on here, uh, please like the video, um, which is either located directly below the video or in the top right hand corner of the video viewing area. Likes, shares, favorites are always greatly appreciated. Uh, if you have not done so yet, you like this video and you want to see more on pretty badass electronics and cool gadgets, then please subscribe to my channel. Uh, with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later, YouTube.